boxing truth here. Let's talk about it. Lomachenko versus Gervonta Davis. That's the fight everyone's talking about. It's the fight everybody wants to see now. Now that there's new belief after Lomachenko's latest performance, latest performance in another tough fight for Lomachenko in the lightweight division. Since Lomachenko has campaigned in this weight, he's looked rather human in this weight class. No longer making fighters quit. Has having a hard time stopping them. And has not had the easiest day at the office or looked very good in a number of these outings in the lightweight division. He struggled against Linares, felt he was losing that fight up until he knocked him out. Looked ordinary against Pedraza, but won the fight clearly. And won a won clearly against Campbell, but it was a tough fight for Lomachenko. He got hurt in the fight to the body. It was everything I expected it to be. The fight with Loma, with uh with Campbell. Campbell's distance fighting at range and he's a former Olympic gold medalist, so he knows how to box a little. So it took some some time for Lomachenko to find a way to get inside, but once he did he pretty much took over after the seventh round. So I'm not gonna be all I'm not, I'm not going to shit on Lomachenko because he had a tougher, a tough fight with Campbell. It was, I expected it to go the distance. He almost got the stoppage on a couple of occasions. So even though Lomachenko is looking not the greatest, he is still displaying great skills, displaying good power in the division. He's hurting guys in the division. But the one thing you can say about Lomachenko at lightweight is that he is beatable. He's definitely beatable at 135 pounds. He's nowhere near as dominant compared to his fighting days at 130. And this is his ceiling. This is the highest he can go. And he's, even though he's not as dominant he is still winning the fights now he's a three belt champion in the lightweight division but after his last performance Gervonta Davis could definitely beat Lomachenko sure Styles make fights sure Davis doesn't have the the height or the reach that Campbell possesses but Gervonta is a better fighter he's more explosive He's a better athlete. He's a bigger puncher. He has more speed. I think he's a better boxer. He doesn't have the range or the height. But he's got the athleticism, speed, explosiveness, and power. And some and the boxing skills to compete with Lomachenko in the lightweight division. It's a very intriguing fight now. I mean, Davis, if he's... If he's going to campaign at this weight, hopefully the opponents will improve. So here's what's going to go down now that David Davis has vacated his strap. His WBA strap at 130. He uh, tried to make a unification with Farmer. That was the only guy he attempted to make a fight with since they have they show no interest in trying to negotiate with a with a golden boy fighter or a top rank fighter. You got two guys associated with top rank that are champions, Miguel Burchelt and Jamal Herring. Davis didn't even bother trying to negotiate fights with those guys. Tevin Farmer turned down a $2 million payday to fight on Showtime. Don't blame him. There's more money on the zone. So Leonard LB and Mayweather won't let Trevante fight on the zone. So that fight is dead and gone and will be soon forgotten. Wasn't that wasn't that all of an intriguing fight anyways? 
It's a decent fight, but you know, we all know who wins that one. The real fight is that lightweight between Gervonta and Vasil Lomachenko. To me, it's closer to 50-50 now. Only Lomachenko a slight favor because of his credentials, his body of work, and the superior resume of opponents compared to Gervonta. But Gervonta is closing the gap, slowly but surely. I will say by this time next year, you you have to favor Gervonta Davis. Lomachenko is getting older. He'll be 32 next year. He's not as dominant as he used to be, and he's fighting out at weight class that's a little bit out of his reach. Could spill the recipe for an upset, was well, a minor upset, if Gervonta and Lomachenko lock horns. Now, the good news is that Mayweather is, is gaining more confidence in matching Gervonta Davis, was actually trying to make a unification with Tevin Farmer. Didn't work out. So now, the plan is Gervonta moves up. He's in goody goodies with the WBA and, and, uh, and their president. So what's going to happen is Gervonta is going to fight Yuriokis Gamboa for a WBA regular title. They're going to make another bullshit bet, belt for Gervonta Davis. It is what it is. You know, they want to, you know, they'll take the sanctioning fees. Um, you know, Davis is a popular fighter. It's going to bring money to the table. So WBA will gladly create a bullshit regular title for WBA. Davis will knock out Yuriokis, a shot Yuriokis Gamboa. And he'll become a belt holder. In a second weight class, though it's a regular title, the question is, will Mendoza actually order that fight? But don't hold your breath. He didn't order Cancio to fight Gervonta, even though Cancio held a regular belt and there was some fuckery going on when Davis was anointed super champion under strange circumstances. So... Lomachenko has now has three belts. Richard Comey and Teofimo Lopez is an intriguing fight in the lightweight division. That fight's looking to be scheduled for sometime in December. I expect Teofimo Lopez to beat Richard Comey, but it is a tough fight. Comey is very experienced, tough fighter, good power, but he's an aggressive fighter, and I think his style will suit more for Lopez compared to the Japanese guy that he fought. A distance, out, long, tall boxer who doesn't really engage. So style-wise, it's a better matchup for Lopez. But it's a it's a good fight, tough fight. And it can happen. But I, I favor Lopez in that matchup. And the Lopez-Lomachenko fight is also intriguing. But you will have to favor Loma at this point in time. But Gervonta could definitely beat Vasil Lomachenko. He's a better fighter than all of previous Lomachenko's opponents. I'm just going by the eye test, man. He's better than Gary Russell. He's better than Pedraza, obviously. He knocked him out. Had a better performance compared to Lomachenko. He's better than Rigondeaux, a smaller Rigondeaux. He's better than Walters. And I believe he's better than Campbell. But Gervonta has to prove it in the ring. He's got to step up the level of opposition. Shock Gamboas and you know featherweights moving up. Cherry picking smaller guys is not really going to cut it. But Gervonta definitely has the ability, the speed, the power, the athleticism, and the skills to compete with Lomachenko at 135. I say he has a better chance at this weight if this fight was to take place a year ago at 130. A year from now, it will be pretty much a 50-50 fight. Because Lomachenko is just not dominant as he used to be. He's uh getting caught more. He's... He's in more of a battle in these fights. He's taken some punishment. In his lightweight reign, he's been knocked down, and he's been rocked, and he's been hurt. Something you've never seen in his pro career prior to him jumping up to a lightweight division. But he's still a handful to deal with. 
puts on a lot of pressure, a lot of mental pressure, finds a way to get inside, has that winning formula about him, has that clutch gene about him. He just finds a way to win. He continues to push forward, continues to dip and dodge, use his feet, continues to use his clever counters, his body punching is nasty. He breaks you down mentally and then physically. So that's the only concern about this fight with Davis. Davis, what I've noticed about him, and I'm going back to the amateurs, in the fights that he's lost in the amateurs, well, at least one that I saw, one of the losses that I saw, is that if an opponent can frustrate Davis, if he can make things not go his way, I see Davis mentally cave in a fight and pretty much uh, give up on trying to win. It was a fight that was a long time ago. It was when he was a teenager. But in that fight, he uh, got frustrated and then pretty much just gave up because things weren't going his way. So mentally, Davis, I don't think is as nowhere near mentally strong as Lomachenko. At least when the going gets tough. But that was years ago. Davis is now a professional. But he's going to face the same adversity if he fights Lomachenko. There's going to be some tough moments. There's going to be moments of adversity. There's going to be moments where he's going to lose a round or two. He's going to get outboxed in in moments. So we'll see if Davis is mentally strong enough and able to overcome some adversity which I've seen him fail to do in the past when things got rough in in an amateur bout that he lost. The guy that he lost to was... is the guy that's going to face Shakur Stevenson for the vacant title this year. His name escapes you right now. He's the number one contender. Well, number two. It was when there were teenagers... Joette Gonzalez I'm talking about. He beat Gervonta Davis in the amateurs. And all he did was frustrate Davis with his with his range and boxing skills. And Davis pretty much caved in and gave up. He was letting his hands down. Letting Joette Gonzalez hit him. Because he just mentally just gave up on the fight. So that's the only concern about Davis. About beating Lomachenko. If Lomachenko was able to frustrate him, not make him have his way, you know, make him doubt himself, then it's very possible that Gervonta will could could cave. He could uh just mentally just give up on himself and let Lomachenko have a field day with him. But Gervonta, to me, has the best chance of beating Lomachenko in these lighter weight divisions. I think Teofimo Lopez has a shot, but it's only a shot. I wouldn't favor him to win the fight or even say he's considered a a slight dog. He, he would have a, a chance, but not, not a major chance. Davis is the guy that has the tools the physicality and punching power that could put an end to Lomachenko's reign but it's a fight that that has to happen that should happen both guys are very popular now Davis is uh, starting to get some headlining events he's starting to make some buzz Lomachenko just sold out the old 2 arena he's becoming a a global star Aram's gonna possibly put another fight of Lomachenko outside of the United States this year so 
this is a, a big fight, man. This fight has the potential to do tremendous numbers at the box office. It's a very intriguing fight. Lomachenko is getting older, though. So, the window is closing on Lomachenko's prime. I say he has about a, two years left until he, start, he starts to deteriorate. But it was a good fight between Lomachenko and Campbell. Entertaining fight. Campbell uh, came to win. He showed his class. He just didn't have enough. But it was a good it was a good effort on his part. He made it interesting. And uh he actually hurt Lomachenko to the body. So I know the Lomachenko fanboy is gonna get all tight in the face because I'm saying Gervonta could beat Lomachenko, but the guy's just he's beatable, man. He's beatable at lightweight. It's not out of the question that Gervonta could beat Lomachenko. He's he's not he's not invincible at this weight. He's not unbeatable. He's lost twice before, and he's looking very very beatable now in the lightweight division, despite being a triple unified lightweight champion. Hopefully, the fight goes down sometime next year, late next year. But Gervonta versus Lomachenko is definitely a pay-per-view worthy fight. This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.